All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. Uh, the name of the video is uh, Theophon Jokes That Are Out of This World. Let's check it out. Or in class, sometimes the teacher would teach us something real good. You know, I remember one time they said lightning. They said lightning uh, was made up of the same stuff that a rainbow was. And um, and I, I, it was hard for me to understand. And then and then the teacher said that li that lightning was just an angry rainbow. And I fuck, dude, I stood up on my desk and took my damn shirt <laughs> off, bro. You know, and I damn saluted that shit. That right. fact that right. that teacher Salute was filling me with the facts. Absolutely. Back in the day, we didn't have clothes. I've never heard that before. Time. That's true. Who invented clothes? Can you look it up? <laughs> Some <laughs> idiot, probably. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My friends are alcoholics, and <laughs> I'm competitive. <laughs> so I have a couple tequilas, right? Okay. And okay. tequila, let's be honest, like pour Mexico right into your body, okay? <laughs> I mean, make you jump a fence, make you buy a gun. <laughs> Make you run across the highway with your family. Make you knock oh, a woman no. up. Make you knock a woman down, okay? Olay, Janet, you know? Dude, I got jumped one time after a football game by five black dudes. I don't know if you ever fought five black dudes at night. <laughs> Just imagine you're fighting five black dudes, right? Right. Now close your eyes. Right. Now how many black dudes are you fighting? As many as your imagination can hold. I wish I had a grown man's p this when I was 12. Do you? Kinda. Oh, you don't want Just that, man. I, I had that. You had that or you have it? I had it as a child. And you were packing as a child? Yeah, did you know that? <laughs> I did. <laughs> but I know that. Why would he know Is that? outer space gay or straight? Okay, so I'm going to give you an answer. Are you ready? Yeah. Is Please. outer space gay or straight? Right. Practically everything we see okay. and measure in space. Okay. Not only objects, but... Temperature, size, density right. is on a spectrum. Okay. So for you to say, is the universe gay or straight? I'm going to tell you, whatever the universe is, it's on a spectrum. So it's bi. You know, they had a guy <laughs> in my neighborhood, this boy, Small Allen. Now, I mentioned him before. He was, a, he was a, not uh, what, a neighbor. Bro, what is this? Listen, so the last time I encountered him was a video called White Privilege. Uh, he, it wasn't like this, guys. This is spectacular. This man is... Uh, his, I don't even think he's joking. I think he's just a funny individual, bro. Just in general. He's just funny. Neighbor, but, you know, could have been a neighbor if he'd have lived closer. And he was okay. small. I right. mean, damn, you could barely. Right. He'd play hide and seek for a month, six weeks. You know, he was the only one, if we were playing hide and seek, you'd see him, you know, get a bunch of food and stuff. Because it was going to be, he's going to be out there a for a time. while. He's so right. small. He hide right. in a bird's nest or something. You know, you'd be looking around for everybody and you'd hear somebody fighting with a bird in a tree. And that would be small up there. Just wing the fist with a damn sparrow or a, you know, a daytime nightingale. Because sometimes you see a nightingale gets lost and that bitch is out there during the day. And you're like, okay. damn, this thing, this is a damn pervert. But, uh... Have you ever laid on your back and put your legs in the air while you jerk off? That's like the, <laughs> what the fuck is thing you could do. I'm never. I would never do that. It sounds like you might have done that. I haven't done that. You want to? It sounds like he did that, bro. I'm sorry. He definitely. He yeah. He did that. Uh, I mean, I don't know why you would do that. It sounds like the most likely the sputum will end up on your face if that's your thing. I mean, I guess that's just your thing, but. Well, that's weird, bro. No, I don't want to do that, dude. <laughs> but I always like making people laugh. Like, I used to do a yeah. similar thing when I was a child. At the lunch table, we'd get some kids who were mentals, or a couple of them might have been mentals, and a couple of kids that were well, you know, and we'd get well, there mentals. and sit them to make them drink milk and then tell <laughs> jokes and do stuff and to, tell one of them just blew milk out of their face, <laughs> you know? And if you get some straight up just a couple mentals, boy, some straight up <laughs> sawed off humans. <laughs> You get them to, humans. Dude, you get them to for straight up blow leche out their dome, dude. That's America right there. Uh, you know what I'm what? saying? No, I don't know what you're and saying. And that's when bro. I knew I was like, oh, oh I got it, some kind of a gift here. Right. You know? It almost blew, blew the throat out of this this one boy named Tot, T O T with his name. Right. Kind of a bad name, too, to be mentally challenged. But also easy for him to spell. And oh I'm not God. joking. That's what his father said. And um, easy for him to spell backward and forward. Same name, Todd. Him yeah. and Tony Hinchcliffe <laughs> and Ron White. Oh, Tony's built for it. He looks almost like uh, Pinocchio's old, you know, crazy brother. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Pull him up. <laughs> We're grabbing her cheeks yeah. no and looking up at, you know, not the sky, but the, the ceiling, mm -hmm. but that God. And I remember going, 
with a tear in my eye. Yeah. And right. that fills up most of your eye. Because I'm Asian. That's true. Yeah. That's not racist. No, well, people don't think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a tear, man. You, you know what I'm saying? You're a third waterlogged, dude. You have f***ing... You're halfway through the Titanic movie. Right. You know? <laughs> you think about that. Somebody even invented a chair like a right. long time ago. Everybody right. was just standing around. People just right. standing around like, now what? And then right. finally, you know, some straight up, I'm going to be honest, hero okay. came along and said, ta-da. A chair. It must have been like, a, like Mona almost at first. So you've been standing up for years. Your father's been standing up. Your grandfather has great posture. Everybody got posture because they've been right. standing like a m right, and then suddenly out of nowhere, okay, some chair. some beautiful little carpenter, right, some dirty little wood martyr comes along and just chisels out a damn seat. Absolutely, mm. genius. I mean, I bet semen just leaks out of your pores, just that full body coom, you know, just cooming out of your whole, just out of your pores, just. <sighs> going on, man? Not much really on. Whoa. My cousin got bit by a Whoa. gay guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Where are we going, bro? Where, where, where are we so going? We'll see, you know. <laughs> so we'll see. Remember when you got the locker at high school That's not and you went up to it and like other kids knew how to open their lockers, but you didn't because it's your first time, but you had to act like you knew, right? Because right. if somebody saw you not opening your locker, right, then, I mean, this was junior high. You were probably going to go to hell. Dude, one kid I remember, bro, named Gabe, he got in his locker and we never saw him again. He just got in there. I'm like, Gabe, what are you doing, dude? He said, I'm trying to get some peace and quiet. He's like, all right, man, you're missing math, but whatever. And then you put some gym clothes in there and this thing stunk. I mean, some gym clothes that was real fertile in there. Because this is seventh grade. You guys see, you know, you have body, you sweat, your, your, even your sweat has probably a little bit of seed in it, a little bit of ejaculate. You put a couple of sweat, you know, shirts in there and this couple dirty socks. You come right. back a month later, they got six little socks running around okay. in there. You know, put right. a, maybe throw a little bit of, uh, right, right, right. you know, some bird seed or some pine nuts in there for them for snacks. But yeah, a locker was crazy. I'm hanging on your lips. What is this, bro? Um, one second. Oh. So I didn't feel any white privilege. I know some people had yeah, this, it, man. This is the one that you I know? saw. I knew some other <laughs> with sweaters. <laughs> but I was two tank tops in the winter, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and I just didn't That's feel cool. it, you know? I wish I'd have had some white privilege, dude. Sign me up. But I didn't have it, man. It was just poor black kids, poor white kids, man. And my poor black friends would always be like, man, look what you did to us. Right. Like, Dude, Nothing, do you think bro. I would do all that shit, y'all, and then move right next door, right, bro? Right, right, That's really weird. Now, we gonna split this plum or not, dog? <laughs> you have only f the counter, no? Nah, man. I, I tend to, I, well, I mean, if, 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 you, if we're talking about just to watch, yeah. I got on there, and then I immediately deleted. I get all nervous. Why? Wait, hold on, bro, Drewski. You have one of these accounts, so you get on there just to watch. Watch what, bro? Who are you simping over? Better stop that. Like people gonna know who you are. I feel like that at some point that do better, Drewski. It's so weird, man. You know, I get on there and like you can even like <laughs> it's weird. People can even trace back how you texted on there, so how you <laughs> yeah. type it. So I try to watch how I type. Sometimes I like to misspell shit on purpose. <laughs> bro, I'm like, too. bitch, you ain't gonna notice it's me. I'm texting you in real life on my phone. Me too. So if I, tell, if I put too many commas and periods how I put them, you gonna know who the <laughs> fuck I am behind this shit. I'll be spelling shit all type of. Oh wrong. yeah, but dude, it is true. I'll be like, what's up with good booty images? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who has this guy, Larry Reeb, has this joke. He said, uh, uh, my wife told me never answer the phone during sex. I said, what if it's you calling? It's just an old joke, but I love it. Man. Oh, I loved old. How do you get a dog to stop pumping your leg? Pick him up and blow him. Oh. <laughs> I love these old jokes. What you, what's the worst thing you can hear when you get a prostate exam? Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> or in class. Oh, 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 my.
Oh, that was that was that was ruthless, bro. Um, listen, listen. Theo Vaughn is absolutely great, bro. That's it. He's just amazing at what he does. Um, again, he's one of these comedians, like similar to, I don't know, like Bill Burr, kind of like where it doesn't matter really what you're you're saying. It's just gonna come off as just funny. Like his life, he should probably be writing a book with the amount of like. I don't know what stories he has to tell, guys. My life has just been boring, I think. Well, I don't know if it's been boring, but not funny. Like, literally, nothing funny happens to me, bro. Right? I don't know what it is. I need funny things to happen to me, guys. But either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.